Games programs, and welcome to the useful review. Um, just because I could, I figured I'd do a quick review on two different things that uh, I've gotten a lot of use out of, and I figured I'd give them some kind of recommendation for whatever it's worth. Um, first thing we're going to be taking a look at is a vacuum cleaner. Now, um, I did actually have the box saved for this, and uh, yeah, again, the great throwing away of boxes around Christmas, uh, I lost it by accident, so I, I will try to find the listing for it. Um, I did actually technically get this as a uh, birthday gift, though. Um, this is a little USB keyboard vacuum, and this thing has actually kind of changed my life, to be honest. Um, I cannot recommend getting one of these enough if you are at your computer any amount of time. Um, little USB charger here on the bottom. Kind of just hold it like the great suction gun thing. Uh, power button's back here. You actually hold it to turn it on. And there you go. Little red light on the back turns on. Um... Twist it here to open it up, clean it out and stuff. I have used it quite a bit. It is actually dirty in there, so I'm going to leave it shut. Um, when you get this thing, it does come with a charging cable. Though, again, it's just micro USB. You've got a million of them. And it also comes with a spare little foam air filter, which is always nice to get an extra of these. As well as you get a little uh, crevice nozzle to use on it. So you can use it like in your car or your couch or your office chair or whatever. Or the good head it comes with that likes to hold on to things is this, uh, this brush head. Um, this brush head is amazing. It has very soft bristles actually that are flinging stuff because of course they are. Um, but yeah, these bristles are actually perfect for... Like, when you get secondhand transformers like me, a lot of times they show up super dusty. Um, these are a really, really good um, bristliness <laughs> to go ahead and, like, kind of scrub the figure down a little bit. And you'll get that dust out of the crevices without worrying about, like, actually damaging the figure in any way. Um... It does a really good job of getting between the keys on your keyboard and pulling stuff up and out so it can get vacuumed up. Um, the battery life on this thing is great. I've actually only charged it twice the entire time that I have used it. So, like, just general light use. You're going to get probably, like, you know, two, three weeks of use out of it on one charge. It's pretty impressive. So, again, I'll try to find a link for this and put it in the description. Uh... I'll, eh. <laughs> I'm really not sure what to say. I'm not used to trying to be like practical here. Give, give me, give me some slack. But then the other thing I'm going to look at here is this quantum flashlight. Um, 65, I guess. Um, this is probably a weird thing to be mentioning in particular, but. This is probably the greatest flashlight that I have ever used in my life. Um, anyone wondering why I'm looking at a flashlight that's still in the package saying it's so great? This is actually the flashlight that I use whenever I'm showing off light piping on my videos. Um, this thing is stupidly bright. I've only had to change the batteries in it once over the last year and yes this thing is used frequently so again there you go there's your other half of the useful video if you find one of these quantum pocket pin flashlights for a decent price uh, this is probably the best either emergency in your car flashlight or in my case the around your desk, I just dropped something in the shadows flashlight you could possibly have. So, again, weird video aside, uh, thank you guys for watching. 
again, just figured I'd throw my voice out there. It's the things that are actually kind of useful. But um, thank you, and as always, I'll see you next time.